Last time on the Nerd Room. Excuse me, miss. Oh, hello. I feel like I've seen that notebook somewhere before. Would you mind showing it to me? Just a little more, if you don't mind. Um... Sure. By the way, I didn't get your name. Oh, and it looks like you're not going to. <laughs> Finally, my search is over. Uh... Your... search? Yes, please, accept this in thanks. Oh, boy. Hey, that's mine. Not anymore, little girl. A word of advice before I go. Forget you ever saw this book. It's for your own good. Aha! I found you! Now give me my book back! Ugh, what a useless book! Oh, come on! You freaking you, you freaking gut-punched me and stole it, and now you don't even want it? Well, if it isn't the little girl from earlier. Don't tell me. You came to get the notebook back. Yeah! That's right! It's been with me on my whole journey. It... Save me the sob story, kid. You can have it back. It's useless to me anyway. And because you're so attached to it... <laughs> I'll even let you take it to your grave. Oh, come on! <laughs> How's it going, everybody? My name is Al, and welcome to the Nerd Room. Today we're playing some more Octopath Traveler. So yeah, we chased after this woman because she stole our notebook, and despite the fact that she herself said it was useless to her and was handing it back to us, she decided to try and attack us. So yeah, now we just gotta return the favor, so uh, let's do this thing. First things first though, figure out what her weaknesses are. So we already got light, she's weak to axes, and I, for I forgot to look at how much health she had again! How do I keep forgetting to do that? Oh, well, I'll just... I'll just check next time I use Analyze. Dag nabbit. <laughs> now, what kind of firepower she got? Ooh. 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 Hmm. Uh, apparently a decent amount. Hack and slash. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Yeah, she's doing a number on us. Yeah, she even brought Ulbrich down to like a third of his health, and that's saying something with Ulbrich. Uh, do I have... Olive of Life. I even have an Olive of Life L. Perfect. Eat up, Ophelia. Alright, now use the light magic and stop her, just so we can avoid that kind of damage output for a little while longer. Though on the plus side, it looked like... As far as I could tell, she didn't use, like, magic. It seems to be mostly physical attacks, so... Uh, Tressa as the Rune Lord with her Transfer Ruin, uh, mixed with Sidestep, equals every member in my party being able to dodge a physical attack with 100% success. Now just use Sidestep maxed out, and then they can dodge five with 100% success. <laughs> yeah, that's why you want to make Tressa a Rune Lord. That combination just kicks ass. At least against physical opponents. Against, uh, you know... Spellcasters, not so much. <laughs> All right, now let's see. Okay, so she has just shy of 100,000 and she's weak to spears. Uh-oh, shifts her weight. Okay, so she's one of those fights. Ooh, Ooh. yeah, jeez, good thing I used sidestep there. <laughs> okay, cool, she's weak to wind. I can work with that. Do I want to analyze or just use his wind magic? You know what? Yeah, we'll use his wind magic, because that'll bring down three defense. And then we can just analyze her later. But that does mean I kind of have to guess as to a uh, weapon weakness. You know, it's it's Ulbrich's strongest weapon, so why not? Let's just use swords. Yes! Thank you! <laughs> and now hit her with Trade Tempest. Oh, wait, no. Defend! So that we go first, and then hit her with Trade Tempest. There we go. Prevent four of her attacks instead of just two. So let's see. She's probably sitting somewhere around 70 or 60,000 health now, right? Oh, yep. Yeah, 62,000. Perfect. So, yeah, it's looking like she's more of a, uh, a rogue type character. You know, a lot of damage output, but not a lot of defense. Just gotta make sure she doesn't have uh, enough chances to actually use any of those attacks. Okay, shifts her weight. And five strikes. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Tressa. You're really saving this fight. I wreak havoc upon thee. Jeez, we are kicking Esmeralda's ass. <laughs> she, yeah, she took down Ophelia like in like the first turn of the fight. But 
Nothing a healing grape couldn't fix, or not not a healing grape, an olive of life couldn't fix. And yes, yeah, so far, thanks to Tressa's sidestepping, she hasn't really been able to do much in the terms of damage to us. I think I pretty much perfectly countered her. <laughs> yeah, even though I wasn't really able to buy any new, like, elemental runes for Tressa to use, transfer rune plus her sidestep is just really making her a powerhouse in this fight. Oh my goodness, we've already got Esmeralda in the red. <laughs> Let me see, just out of curiosity, how much health does she have left now? <laughs> 21,000. Okay. I think one brand's thunder will do the trick. Alright, Ulbrich. <laughs> if you would be so kind. <laughs> yeah! Jeez, Esmeralda didn't stand a freaking chance. Have I mentioned how much I love these new secret classes? Jeez, I think that's the fastest I've killed a boss. Granted, like I said, I'm pretty sure Esmeralda is more of a rogue, so she doesn't have a lot of health, but had a lot of damage output, but Tressa with the Rune Lord and, uh, Rune Lord and Sidestep just basically nullified that. Now, Esmeralda, if you'd be so kind as to give me back my notebook, now that I've completely destroyed what? you. <laughs> no! Beaten by a little girl? <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> wow, Tressa, that was a very, uh, a very sinister sounding chuckle. <laughs> I told you not to underestimate me. I'll take this. Phew. Yeah, we got her back. Oh. Why would you go through so much trouble for a stupid book? It's just an old diary. Yeah, then why did you freaking fight me over it? You don't get it. This book is... I came here by sheer willpower alone. I hoped I'd find something to help make my dreams come true. Something precious I'd treasure forever. My treasure. All right. <laughs> oh, hey, Ali! You didn't get killed by uh, you didn't get killed by Esmeralda's cohort. Tressa, are you okay? Yes. Fine. Thanks. And you? <laughs> See for yourself. Oh, well, look at that! <laughs> you even got him arrested. Damn that boy! All right. Bye! I heard he was a wanted criminal, so I handed him over to the guards. <laughs> you really saved the day, Ali. Well, that's to be seen. Did you get your book back? Yeah! Yep! Oh. Hmm. It sounds like the showcase is starting. This is the Kismet Doll. Kismet trees are among the rarest in the realm. They're known to bring good fortune in marriage. This doll was made from the trunk of that tree. Alongside it comes a legend. The one who holds the doll will meet their soulmate. Why, I? A real Kismet Doll. I never thought I'd see one with my own two eyes. Well... First the snowdrop gown, then the Nistiara, and now this! I don't know how Mr. Wyndham decides. Ha! <laughs> huh, I wish I had his problems. Yeah, you and me both. Instead, some of us have to sell our souls just for a chance at that prize money. I wonder what'll catch Mr. Wyndham's fancy this year. Just listen to that crowd. Heh <laughs> hope you're not nervous. It's almost your turn. You've only got one chance to win the judge's favor. Did you polish up your Eldrite? Well... I'm not entering the Eldrite. What? You can't be serious. I am. What's the matter? But why? The Eldrite is rare and beautiful, of course, but... I want to offer something my customer desires. I want to give them something they can truly treasure. 
That's the kind of merchant I want to be. Actually... There's something I want to give to Noah. Something I think she could truly treasure. Then I can't wait to see what you've got up your sleeve, Tressa. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be disappointed. Now then. Well, you better hurry. It's bad manners to keep your customers waiting. Tressa Calzione? This way, please. Tressa. Yeah, what's up, Ali? Good luck out there. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Ali. She's gonna sell the notebook, isn't she? And now, for our next entrant... Tressa Calzione! Tressa? A kid? Here's hoping she won't disappoint. Hello. My name is Tressa, and I'm a traveling merchant. Today, I brought something very special to me. An anonymous notebook! I grew up in a small port town as the daughter of two merchants. Sometimes I gaze out at the ocean and think to myself, what do I really want to do? What do I really want in life? And then I came across this notebook. It was written by someone whose name I don't know. Someone who traveled across the world and wrote down everything about their journey. I decided then and there and I wanted to go on a journey too, so I left home. I wanted to explore the world as a merchant and learn the trade as I went. And along the way, I met some unforgettable people. In a mining town, I met another merchant around my age. His words had the power to touch people's hearts and make them happy. It was like magic. <laughs> <laughs> After I moved on to the next town, I ran into an old acquaintance. He was the captain of a merchant ship and the one who originally gave me the book. There, he taught me something very important. He told me that there could only be one truly precious treasure in someone's life. So I searched and searched until I finally found it. What's truly precious to me is this journey. I've written all about it here in these pages. I can tell you for a fact that there are countless wonderful things out there waiting to be discovered. And just like this nameless traveler allowed me to realize my dreams, I hope that my travels can help someone realize their own. Which is why I want to give you this book. Noah. Tressa. Who would want something so useless? Okay, can't say that wasn't expected. Does she have any idea where she is? In all my years, I've never seen something so embarrassing. Oh, someone get her off the stage! Tressa! Well, what have we got over here? I'll take it. Yep. <laughs> Gasp! 
Did he just... Is he serious? Mr. Wyndham, sir. Pardon me, but are you absolutely certain? Yes. <laughs> I don't go back yes. on my word. Now, please, bring me that diary. I would like to present it to my daughter. There we go. That certainly shifted the crowd, didn't it? Now then. Oh my, what the shit. <laughs> okay, I thought Tressa sounded sinister earlier when she, uh, at, right after she beat Esmeralda, but dang. <laughs> that straight up sounded like he was like about to stick a dagger in my back. Now then, to enact my plan. <laughs> my apologies for asking, sir, but... Why did you choose this diary? You see, my daughter. The fact is... I wanted to help her see the world as best I could, so I bought her the greatest treasures of the realm. But I could tell it was never enough. However, when this young merchant stepped onto the stage and spoke of her travels, that was the first time Noah ever said she wanted something. When I heard about your journey, Tressa, I felt like I was traveling the world with you. My heart never wanted the story to end. Young lady, I can't thank you enough. I hope this will suffice for your diary. I... I can't accept all that money. What? What? Are you a merchant or not? This is a fair trade, Tressa. You see... My customer has something she can treasure forever. That's more than enough reward for me. I understand your sentiment, but I can't let you go without recompense. Okay, it's too much for me to handle now, but maybe I'll need it down the road someday. I'd like to save it for then. Understood. I'll prepare a memor... M memorandum? Am I reading that right? Memorandum. Memorandum. Okay, so I did pronounce it right. Uh, a written message in business or diplomacy. Okay, so basically he's just putting into writing, Yes, this money belongs to one Tressa Calzione. If you're ever in need of it, please do not hesitate to let us know. Thank you, sir. Jeez, that's one heck of a safety net, huh? <laughs> um... Tressa? If you don't mind, I... I'd like to hear more about your journey. And I'd love to tell you all about it. At Noah's behest, Tressa spoke of her travels across the realm. She recounted every tale, one by one, with a fond smile. <laughs> well, that seemed to have made Noah's happy. I've made up my mind, Tressa. I want to travel the world on my own two feet, just like you did. Noah. Thank you so much. I'll treasure this notebook forever, Tressa. And someday... I'll write my own stories in here. About my own journey. <laughs> I want to be the first to read it. Indeed. I promise, you will be. Alright. <laughs> nice. Fair and well, are ye? Oh, hello. Excuse me, young lady. I must say, you put on quite the show there. Thank you, sir. Ho, <laughs> ho. I suppose I should introduce myself. I dedicated many years of my life to creating something. Something that became a precious treasure to you. You mean, you made that notebook? Mm-hmm. The writer was someone else, though. I gave it to him a good ten years ago. Went by the name Graham Crossford. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, so... I know for a fact we've heard that name before, or at least I really think we did, but I can't remember whose story we heard it in. Graham Crossford. So he's the one whose travels I've been reading about. That's right. That man saved my life. He was just about to head off on a journey. He didn't know where his travels would take him, so I told him he ought to keep a record of where he'd been. 
I spent 40 odd years making notebooks. Oh, okay. Okay, for a second there I thought he was gonna say I spent 40 years making that specific notebook. <laughs> Graham's just sitting there like, dude, I, I gotta get going. Like, when's this book gonna be done? <laughs> But there wasn't anyone else's journey I wanted to hear about as much as his. Writing in a diary comes from the heart. And there was no one with a heart as great as his. When you spoke about your own travels, I thought I saw some of him in you. It was like you were in love with that notebook. If you ever meet Graham, could you tell him something for me? I've got another diary for him, just waiting to be filled. All right. Bye. So what are you going to do now? Huh. I think I'll go back home. I've experienced so many things on this journey. It was filled with so many moments that can't be contained in a diary. I traveled and traded across the land and met amazing people along the way. And when I stood on that stage, I realized I did what I set out to do. I want to tell my parents that. I can't wait to see the look on their faces. Home, huh? How about you, Ollie? It's probably time for me to head home, too. My father is waiting for me. I finally saved up enough money for him to open up shop again. Oh, well, good for you. So, who's the better merchant between you two? Mm, I'd like to think I am. Hey, Tressa? Yeah? Next time we meet? We'll see who's the better merchant, right? <sighs> Wrong. Next time, I hope you're a little more refined. What the heck's that supposed to mean? What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, you're like a sky stone. One that could use a bit more polishing. Hey! Yeah, come on, dude. I just won the Merchant's Fair here. <laughs> See you around, Tressa. And off he goes. <laughs> Freaking A. <laughs> now then. My journey isn't over yet. I'll be there soon. All right, off to uh, what was it? Ripple Tide, I think, was where she came from. That was how I met Tressa. She gave me this diary to fill with my own memories. I know that somewhere out there, she's bringing happiness to others just as she did to me. And someday, I hope to follow in her footsteps. Noah Wyndham. There we go. Oh, and there we go. Looks like we're back home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that, uh, the Eldrite that Tress is holding there? Well, I'd say we don't have to worry about the family business going bankrupt. Because even if the Eldrite doesn't, <laughs> uh, doesn't sell, <laughs> we got freaking, like, what was it, a billion freaking uh, bucks just like waiting for us to you know use <laughs> so yeah I'd say we're in a pretty good position as a merchant right now <laughs> but yeah I know for a fact I've heard freaking the name Graham uh, Crossford before but I er, what what story did I hear it in <laughs> wait Wait, no, wait, I remember, no, I remember, it was, uh, Alfin, that's the dude who saved Alfin's life. Yes, okay. <laughs> All right, so yeah, unfortunately we won't be able to pass on his message given his, uh, current deceased state, but hey, 
We now know how, uh, we now know how another party member's story connects. And yeah, I am expecting, like, all the stories to eventually, like, you know, come together in some big, like, uh, some big, like, central dungeon, basically, that all eight of us will have to, that we'll have to work together to beat. Yeah, but before we can figure out about that, we got, uh, I believe, two more stories to complete. And I guess we'll start another one of those in the next part. So, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, feel free to hit that like button down below and to share this video with your friends. And until next time, you all have yourselves a good day. See ya!